This video illustrates how to prepare the swine flu vaccines for adults. It complements existing vaccination training. There are two different brands of H1N1 swine flu vaccine being provided. Follow the instructions for drawing up each vaccine, as there are important differences between the two products. One vaccine requires mixing, the other does not. The Department of Health is waiting to hear whether two doses of each product are needed. They will update you as soon as they know. Use the dose pairing syringes with fixed needles provided by the Department of Health. They will ensure minimal vaccine wastage. The two vaccines are not interchangeable, so everyone must receive the same product for each dose. Pandemrix is an adjuvanted inactivated vaccine. The outer box of Pandemrix contains three inner boxes. Inside you will find one large box containing 50 multi-dose vials of vaccine antigen suspension and two smaller boxes, each containing 25 vials of adjuvant emulsion. Mark the larger vial containing the vaccine antigen with the date, time and the initials of the immunizer immediately before mixing the vaccine. Return the box to the fridge. Let both vials reach room temperature before mixing. This should only take a few minutes. Check both vials for any foreign particles. Shake both vials. Then draw up all of the adjuvant emulsion into the syringe. Inject this into the vial containing the antigen suspension. Shake the vial of mixed antigen and adjuvant again. This vaccine should now resemble a whitish emulsion. This mixed vial now contains 10 doses of vaccine. Draw up the vaccine into the dose-sparing syringe with fixed needle. Each adult requires a dose of 0.5 mils. Use the drawn-up vaccine immediately. Inject the vaccine intramuscularly into the deltoid muscle. After mixing, you can use the vaccine for up to 24 hours, storing it either in a fridge or at room temperature. Shake the multi-dose vial before subsequent use. Following administration, it is important to record which vaccine has been given using the correct read code, as everyone must receive the same product for each dose. Complete the relevant vaccination record card and give it to the patient. Tell them which vaccine product they have received. Selvapan is a whole virus inactivated vaccine. The box of Selvapan contains 20 multi-dose vials of vaccine antigen suspension. Selvapan does not require mixing before administration. Mark the vial with a date, time and the initials of the immunizer immediately on removal from the fridge. Return the box to the fridge. Before use, the vial should be allowed to reach room temperature. This should only take a few minutes. Check the vial for any foreign particles. Shake the vial. The vaccine appears as a translucent, colourless solution. Each 5 mil vial contains 10 doses of vaccine. Draw up the vaccine into the dose-sparing syringe with fixed needle. Each adult requires a dose of 0.5 mils. Use the drawn-up vaccine immediately. Inject the vaccine intramuscularly into the deltoid muscle. You can use the vaccine for up to three hours after removing from the fridge. Once it has reached room temperature, it should not be returned to the fridge. Shake the multi-dose vial before subsequent use. Following administration, it is important to record which vaccine has been given using the correct read code, as everyone must receive the same product for each dose. Complete the relevant vaccination record card and give it to the patient. Tell them which vaccine product they have received. Main points to remember. There are two different brands of H1N1 swine flu vaccine being provided. The GSK Pandemrix vaccine must be mixed before administration. The GSK Pandemrix vaccine can be used for up to 24 hours after mixing. The Baxter Selvapan vaccine can be used for up to three hours after removing from the fridge. Both vaccine brands are supplied in multi-dose vials. 
The Department of Health will update you on how many doses each person needs as soon as they know. The two vaccines are not interchangeable, so everyone must receive the same product for each dose. Use the dose-sparing syringes with fixed needles provided by the Department of Health. They will ensure minimal vaccine wastage. Refer to the Green Book for any further guidance. Thank you.